Susan George, a renowned actress with a rich career, has left an indelible mark on the world of film. Have you ever pondered on lesser known facts or anecdotes about her that intrigue you? Perhaps you recall the first work you watched featuring this iconic figure. Share your cherished memories and experiences in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. Stay tuned as we unveil funny, shocking, and sad facts. Keep watching for more surprises in store. Meet Susan George, a prominent figure in the film industry whose performances have left a lasting impression on audiences. Her journey in acting showcases her natural talent and significant influence on the world of cinema. Susan, born with an innate gift for acting, gained fame through her exceptional skills on the screen. Her ability to take on diverse roles demonstrated a versatility that made her stand out in the entertainment world. What makes her noteworthy is not just her on-screen presence, but also how effortlessly she portrayed various characters. In her era, Susan George became an inspiration for aspiring actors. Her work wasn't just about playing roles, it was a vivid portrayal of human emotions. Her performances resonated with audiences, drawing them into the narrative with a captivating charm that few could match. Beyond the glamour, Susan George's impact goes deep into storytelling. Her portrayals weren't just for entertainment, but also about creating a connection, an emotional thread woven through each film. Her contributions to cinema are remarkable. As we explore Susan George's world, expect to discover interesting facts, amusing anecdotes, and maybe revisit some memorable moments that defined her career. Join us on a journey through Susan George's filmography, where each role adds vibrancy to the canvas of cinema. Get ready for a cinematic exploration of Susan George's legacy, a journey that delves beneath the surface of this talented actress. Share your thoughts, memories, and experiences with Susan George in the comments below as we celebrate the impact of this cinematic luminary. Susan's dad, Norman, used to play the saxophone, suggesting she grew up in a creative environment. This likely influenced her decision to become an actress. One of her notable roles was as Amy in Straw Dogs, where she acted alongside Dustin Hoffman. In this film, they explore themes like science, religion, and share quotes from historical figures like Montesquieu. There was a bit of disagreement about casting Susan as Amy because Hoffman thought his character wouldn't marry someone with Amy's youthful allure, calling it Lolita-ish. However, director Sam Peckinpah believes Susan had the right qualities for the role, showing her ability to play complex characters early in her career. This decision reflected the director's confidence in her talent, even though she wasn't well known at the time. Her performance in Straw Dogs showcased her skill, adding depth to the film's exploration of human nature, violence, and redemption. This movie marked a significant moment in her career, proving her ability to handle challenging roles and emotional stories. It not only boosted her reputation as a talented actress, but also showed what she could handle controversial and tough material, making her a memorable figure in cinema history. Susan George's career isn't confined to the silver screen. Before making her mark in the film industry, she graced the stage in London's West End production of The Sound of Music. Her presence in this iconic musical showcased her early prowess as a performer, setting the stage for her future cinematic endeavors. In 1995, Empire Magazine recognized Susan George, placing her at the 72nd spot in their list of the 100 sexiest stars in film history. This acknowledgement is a testament to the allure she brought to the screen, captivating audiences with her on-screen presence and undeniable charisma. A facet often overlooked is Susan George's personal life. She fondly recalls the deep connection she shared with her late husband, Simon McCorkindale. Their bond was evident in the love he had for her, a sentiment she doesn't shy away from sharing. It adds a human touch to her public persona, revealing a side of her beyond the spotlight. These glimpses into Susan George's life paint a picture of a multifaceted individual whose talents extend beyond acting. Her journey from the West End to the film industry, coupled with a recognition of her allure by Empire Magazine, demonstrates the diverse facets that make up her career. Starting her career early, she first appeared in front of the camera for a television commercial at the tender age of five. This early exposure to the entertainment industry paved the way for her future in acting, showcasing a natural inclination towards performance from a young age. Her role as Amy in Straw Dogs stands out as a significant highlight in her career. Set in St. Barry in Cornwall, the film explored intense themes, allowing her to display her talent in handling emotionally demanding roles. It's interesting to note that she resides in Devon, which neighbors Cornwall, where this memorable film was set. 
In Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry, her portrayal of Mary Coombs provided a stark contrast to the on-screen tension between her and Peter Fonda's character. Despite their character's constant bickering off-camera, she and Fonda shared a harmonious relationship. This camaraderie extended beyond their acting roles, with both actors often found serenading the cast and crew with their guitars. This behind-the-scenes bonding added a layer of warmth and community to the film's production environment. Such anecdotes from her career not only highlight her professional achievements, but also shed light on her personality and how she interacted with her peers. Her journey in the entertainment industry is marked by memorable performances that have stood the test of time, making her a beloved figure among audiences and colleagues alike. In her career, she portrayed roles in films that featured some of the most controversial scenes of sexual assault ever shown in cinema. One of the most notable of these was in the film Straw Dogs, where her character, Amy, experiences a harrowing double assault. This portrayal sparked much debate and remains a point of discussion regarding its impact and portrayal of violence against women. Furthermore, in Mandingo, she is seen in a drastically different and equally controversial role where her character assaults a black slave, a depiction that reversed the usual gender roles in such narratives. Another film, The House Where Evil Dwells, sees her character involved in an affair influenced by supernatural forces, adding a layer of horror to the theme of infidelity. Before filming Straw Dogs, the director Sam Peckinpah had an unconventional approach to prepare for the movie. He suggested that she and co-star Dustin Hoffman live together for a period, along with the co-writer David Zelig Goodman. This unique method was intended to build chemistry between the actors, and some of their real-life interactions were even incorporated into the screenplay. This approach underlines the lengths to which filmmakers of the time would go to elicit authentic performances, blurring the lines between real and real life. She also became known for her appearances as a blonde sex symbol in various films. This image was a significant aspect of her career, with many roles capitalizing on her looks alongside her acting ability. This typecasting reflects the era's cinematic trends, where the visual appeal of actors often played a pivotal role in casting decisions and the marketing of films. These aspects of her career show the range of characters she was able to portray, from victims to villains, and how her performances contributed to the discussions around sensitive topics portrayed in films. Her willingness to take on challenging and controversial roles speaks to her commitment to her craft and her ability to navigate the complexities of human emotions and societal issues through her performances.